Hello guys, welcome back to Amalopi Channel, where you learn interesting info about your favorite actors and athletes. The main character of our video today is Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran in full, Roberto Duran Samaniego was born on June 16, 1951 in El Carrillo, Panama, and is a former professional boxer. He competed from the period of 1968 to 2001, and is known as a versatile, technical brawler and pressure fighter, which earned him the nickname of Manos de Piedra, Hands of Stone, for his formidable punching power and excellent defense. Over his five-decade spanning career, Duran held world championships in four weight classes. Duran was raised in the slums of El Carrillo in the district of La Casa de Piedro, the House of Stone in Panama City. His father, Margarito Duran Sanchez, was from Arizona, United States, and of Mexican descent, and his mother, Clara Sumaniego, was a native of Guerrero. He began sparring with experienced boxers when he was only 8 years old. Duran compiled a record of 29-3 in his amateur career, with all three losses coming from Duran's first three amateur fights. Roberto married his longtime girlfriend, Mia Felicidad Duran, sometime during the early phases of his career. Of his marriage, the couple has parented six children, Irishelle, Giovanna, Roberto Duran Jr., Victor, Dahlia, and Robin Duran. His daughter, Arisha Duran, was a former boxer herself, who garnered a record one win and two losses in three bouts, with one win by knockout. Following his amateur career, Duran made his professional debut in February 1968 at the age of 16. He won his first 31 consecutive professional fights, culminating in his first title bout in June 1972, where he defeated Ken Buchanan for the WBA Lightweight Championship. Duran was successful in all 12 of his subsequent Lightweight Championship matches, a winning streak that began in 1973 and continued through 1978. He also won all of his non-title bouts during this period. After moving up to the welterweight division, Duran defeated Sugar Ray Leonard in June 1980 to claim the World Championship, but in his next fight, in November 1980, he lost the title. In the second meeting with Leonard, Duran was not actually knocked out. Instead, in an event that became infamous, he refused to continue, surrendering in mid-round with the words, No Mass, No More. Duran resumed his career until retiring for good in January 2002, at the age of 50, following a car crash in Argentina. He had previously retired in November 1980, June 1984 and August 1998, only to change his mind. Duran ended his career with a professional record of 119 fights, 103 wins, and 70 knockouts. Throughout his five-decade spanning career from 1968 to 2001, Duran held world championships in four weight classes, lightweight, waterweight, light middleweight, and middleweight, as well as reigns as the undisputed and lineal lightweight champion and the lineal waterweight champion. In 2002, Duran was voted by The Ring magazine as the fifth greatest fighter of the last 80 years. The Associated Press voted him as the best lightweight of the 20th century, with many considering him as the greatest lightweight of all time. In 2006, Duran was inducted into the World Boxing Hall of Fame, and in 2007, into the International Boxing Hall of Fame.
As of 2021, Roberta Duran has an estimated net worth of $5 million. He reportedly blew through more than $20 million during the peak of his career on a lavish lifestyle. Duran is the second boxer to have competed over a span of five decades, the first being Jack Johnson. The 70 wins by knockout place him in an exclusive group of boxers who have won 50 or more fights by knockout. He's ranked number 28 on the ring's list of 100 greatest punters of all time. Outside of boxing, Duran also involved in films and music. He himself was a salsa singer once. The biopic Hands of Stone, based on his life and career, stars Edgar Ramirez, Robert De Niro, and our show was released in August 2016. Today, the former boxer is the brand ambassador, Panama Blue, Panama's premium bottle water. He's also a licensed ultralight aircraft pilot in Panama. He flew a Quicksilver MX model. How do you think about him? Leave a comment to let us know and make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the upcoming videos on the Molly P channel.